compressed gases are like silent powerhouses capable of catastrophic releases if mishandled or improperly stored a small crack in a compressed gas cylinder can lead to a dangerous projectile emphasizing the need for vigilant inspection and maintenance the hazards of compressed gases are not just confined to explosions the toxicity flammability and carcinogenic properties of certain gases demand utmost caution in their handling dear friends and fellows compressed gases play a vital role in various industries and everyday life but they also present unique safety hazards that must be understood and managed appropriately whether it's for industrial processes medical applications or even household use compressed gases can be found in cylinders tanks or cartridges under high pressure this introduction aims to highlight the importance of compressed gas safety and provide a brief overview of key considerations to ensure the safe handling storage and use of these potentially hazardous substances compressed gases possess characteristics that demand careful attention their high pressure nature means that a failure in containment can result in dangerous projectiles or uncontrolled releases leading to a fire explosions or asphyxiation hazards additionally some gases may be toxic corrosive flammable or carcinogenic further increasing the potential risks associated with their use to mitigate these hazards it's crucial to establish robust safety measures this includes proper training for personnel working with compressed gases adequate storage and handling procedures regular inspections and maintenance of equipment and compliance with relevant regulations and standards safety protocols should encompass the entire life cycle of compressed gases from procurement and transportation to usage and disposal in this safety training session i'll answer the 20 possible questions those are related to compressed gases its types handling procedures hazards risks storage transportation usage refilling what to do if a cylinder found leaking or you need to use it in a confined space all useful and complete comprehensive information in one video so watch it till the end and prove your expertise as a safety professional how to use compressed gas cylinders safely in your project or on your job site so without wasting further time let's get started the basic and the number one question is what are compressed gases compressed gases are substances stored under high pressure in cylinders or containers such as oxygen nitrogen carbon dioxide and propane etc another important question why are compressed gases potentially hazardous compressed gases are potentially hazardous because the high pressure can cause cylinders to rupture and the gases themselves may be flammable toxic or reactive what are some common uses of compressed gases compressed gases are used in various industries for welding cutting medical applications refrigeration fire suppression systems and powering pneumatic tools these are the most common and basic uses of compressed gases you need to remember because mostly during the safety interview the corporate hsc manager asked such questions how should compressed gas cylinders be stored compressed gas cylinders should be stored in well ventilated areas 
secured in an upright position and away from ignition sources and heat. These are the basic and minimum safety requirements to store compressed gas cylinders. What are the risks associated with mishandling compressed gas cylinders? Mishandling compressed gas cylinders can lead to gas leaks, explosions, fires, asphyxiation, chemical exposure, and physical injuries from cylinder mishaps. Another important question, are there specific guidelines for transporting compressed gas cylinders? Yes, specific guidelines exist for transporting compressed gas cylinders, such as securing them in a vertical position, using appropriate restraints, and avoiding rough handling. How should compressed gas cylinders be inspected before use? This is the mandatory responsibility of site supervisors and site HSC officers. Cylinders should be visually inspected for signs of damage, corrosion or leaks. Labels and valve protection caps should be checked and expired or damaged cylinders should not be used. What precautions should be taken when using compressed gases in confined spaces? Very important question. Proper ventilation and monitoring for gas buildup or oxygen depletion are critical when using compressed gases in confined spaces to prevent the risk of suffocation or explosion. You need to remember two important points. Ventilation and monitoring of gas buildup or oxygen depletion. What are some safe practices for handling compressed gas cylinders? Safe practices include using appropriate personal protective equipment, PPE, securing cylinders during use, avoiding rough handling and ensuring proper connections and valve operation. You are on the platform of safety first life. Today we are discussing about compressed gases safety. How to use, how to handle, how to store, how to transport and how to deal with compressed gas cylinders on your work sites. Can compressed gas cylinders be refilled or modified by unauthorized individuals? No, never at all. Compressed gas cylinders should only be refilled, modified are serviced by authorized individuals or facilities to ensure compliance with safety standards and regulations. Any of the shortcut or neglecting the safety standards or regulations may lead to a catastrophic major incident in your project. So be vigilant, proactive and in full compliance with safety procedures. Another important question, how should empty or partially used compressed gas cylinders be handled? Empty or partially used cylinders should be properly labeled, stored separately from full cylinders and returned to authorized suppliers or facilities for safe handling and disposal. If you are watching for the first time, kindly subscribe it and press the bell icon for all future notifications. And if you find the video informative, then like, comment and share it with your friends and fellows. Are there specific labeling requirements for compressed gas cylinders? Yes, of course. Compressed gas cylinders should be labeled with the contents, hazard warnings, safety precautions, handling instructions and contact information of the supplier or the manufacturer. Again, this is the minimum safety requirement for labeling compressed gas cylinders. What should be done if a compressed gas cylinder is leaking? If a cylinder is leaking, the immediate area should be evacuated. The proper authorities or emergency services should be notified and only trained personnel should attempt to stop the leak if it is safe to do so. As a safety practitioner, 
you need to evacuate the area immediately otherwise maybe a compressed gas cylinder explosion may cause multiple fatalities or an incident with major consequences another important question can compressed gas cylinders be used or stored near flammable materials no compressed gas cylinders should be kept away from flammable materials to prevent ignition or combustion hazards they should be stored in designated areas away from flammable or ignition sources are there specific precautions for handling compressed gases in extreme temperatures yes extreme temperatures can affect the pressure and properties of compressed gases so proper precaution should be taken to prevent over pressurization or other safety risks can compressed gas cylinders be used as rollers or supports no compressed gas cylinders should never be used as rollers or supports as this can damage the cylinder lead to gas leaks and pose significant safety risks what should be done with damaged or compromised compressed gas cylinders damaged or compromised cylinders should be immediately removed from service labeled as unsafe and reported to the appropriate personnel immediate supervisor or authorities for proper handling and disposal are there specific regulations or standards for handling compressed gases yes various regulations and standards exist such as those from osha dot and cga which provide guidelines and requirements for the safe handling and storage of compressed gases can compressed gas cylinders be stored near heat sources or direct sunlight no compressed gas cylinders should be stored away from heat sources direct sunlight and extreme temperature conditions as these can increase the risk of cylinder failure or gas release dear friends and fellows by implementing safety and effective safety practices organizations can minimize the risk of accidents protect personnel and the surrounding environment and ensure uninterrupted operations awareness of potential hazards and adherence to safety guidelines are paramount as even a small oversight can have severe consequences later you can cry but there is no use at all in conclusion the safe handling and use of compressed gases are of utmost importance to prevent accidents and protect both individuals and the environment understanding the unique hazards associated with compressed gases and implementing comprehensive safety measures can significantly reduce the risk of incidents and accidents whether it involves industrial processes healthcare applications or household use proper training equipment and protocols are essential for the safe management of compressed gases adhering to regulatory requirements and industry best practices ensures that the necessary precautions are in place to prevent leaks explosions or exposure to toxic substances furthermore ongoing monitoring inspection and maintenance of equipment help identify potential issues before they escalate into major hazards regular training and awareness programs for employees contribute to a safety conscious culture where everyone understands the risks and knows how to respond appropriately immediately effectively and efficiently you need to remember compressed gases should always be handled with the trained professionals using suitable equipment and stored 
in designated areas. It is crucial to consult safety data sheets, SDS, and follow manufacturer instructions to ensure the proper handling and storage conditions for each specific gas. Dear friends and fellows, by prioritizing compressed gas safety, we can enjoy the many benefits these gases offer while minimizing the associated risks. Together, let's commit to maintaining a safe environment for all those who interact with compressed gases and strive for continuous improvement in safety practices. In the end, few golden words you always need to remember. Safety is not an option when working with compressed gases. It is an imperative that ensures the well-being of both individuals and the surrounding environment. Effective training, proper equipment and adherence to safety protocols are the pillars of compressed gas safety, guarding against potential disasters. By prioritizing compressed gas safety and following best industry practices, we create a secure environment where the benefits of these compressed gases can be harnessed without compromising anyone's well-being, safety, health or life. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Wish to see you soon with a new HSC tutorial. Until then, take care. Good luck and goodbye.